Pierce Curran got his first pet snake when he was just nine years old. Today, the 13-year-old handles all kinds of creepy critters. I think he'd say creeping critters. And his mom and dad are both part of the act. Take a look. 2012, Pierce Curran and his dad Richard filmed a few short videos at a public zoo in front of different animals. Those videos became popular commercial TV spots. Little did they know that those spots would soon lead to their own TV show. I'm Pierce Curran for Scaly Adventures and check back at my website. Today, Richard, Tanya, and Pierce take a walk on the wild side in Pierce's Scaly Adventures, which airs on Daystar at 12.30 every Saturday afternoon. Well, the Currens are with us now. Welcome to the 700 Thank Club. Thank you. Good to have you all here. Thank you Thank so you. much. And, and you too. <laughs> Very interesting. Pierce, introduce us to your friend oh, here. Yes, this is Spike. He's a green iguana. And this guy actually has three <laughs> eyes. You see the two there? But he has one up here. Now, he's not really happy right now. But that <laughs> helps him sense light and dark whenever something ah, comes over him. Ah, so is it, when he does that, when you're petting him, does that mean he likes it or he's... Well, when he flaps that, it means that he's telling me to back off that he's the man yeah, yeah you're he, not listening he doesn't like that. That. <laughs> oh no no, no. Uh, he's on tv this is spike is job. beautiful oh he's gorgeous wow. he's actually shedding on his head right there so all these spines will be pristine and shed within wow. about three weeks now, how long have you had him i've had him now going on two years almost. i think so yeah wow now, have you ever been, yes have you ever been bitten actually i've been bitten several times by him i've been bitten here i've been scarred from him he scratched me he, uh, it took six months to train him because he wasn't nice. And we tell kids that in our shows, that just because somebody isn't nice at first, they can, it can be due to what they've had to go through. That's mm -hmm. a life lesson, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's really one of the really cool things we do through the show. We talk about bullies. The animals. Exactly. To, to teach about life lessons. we all need to mm -hmm. know. Well, Spike is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. You have, speaking of impressive, you have some boa constrictors yes. with you. And the two names that are... They don't go together. No. Goliath and Cupcake. <laughs> Explain that. That's They're very, very different. Um, this is Goliath. He's a Colombian red tail boa constrictor. He's beautiful. Yes, he is. And they're very, very strong. This is Pierce's Whoa, yeah, very best friend. He's the mascot of our TV show. He opens every episode. And he's also the sweetest boa on the planet. Have <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always loved snakes? Oh, yes, I always have. Uh, I first was interested that in dinosaurs, bad, which really led to my interest in reptiles. Really? Yes, that, I love well, that them. would be a natural transition, oh, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Now, tell me about Cupcake, because she's rather large for her name. <laughs> well, she's Cupcake, like... Cupcake is a um, Colombian red tail boa, just like the one that you're holding there, um, Goliath. The thing about Cupcake is we gave her that name because a lot of times what we do on our show mm -hmm. is really help kids to overcome fears, whatever it ah. may be. And a lot of people are afraid of snakes. So I'll always say, come here, because they'll be like this, and I'll say, you know what its name is? And they'll go, no, and I'll go, it's Cupcake. How can you be afraid of anything named Cupcake? <laughs> you know, you never go, here, hold killer. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's what Cupcake yeah. is. And that, that would shy away from it. So she gets an opportunity to go into like Shriners Children's Hospitals and really? things like that. And it's a it's a chance for children to see that something big isn't necessarily yeah. something mean. And, and Richard, people think snakes are, snakes are slimy, but they're really smooth Very and cool yes, and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, quite lovely. Yes. Okay, what have you got there? I have Pickle. He's a bearded dragon. I just did not name him. My mom did. <laughs> Tanya, we can talk about that later. I love it. Pickle is a sweetheart. He's a grandpa. Uh, he was passed down from a per uh, little boy who passed away of leukemia. Aww. And so he is quite old. And he loves to do pretty much nothing but sleep. He's... My son had a had a bearded dragon named Spike, actually. Oh, cool. And Aww. so does he eat crickets and things like that? Yes, or? he does. Yes, he loves crickets and mealworms and fruits and veggies. And these guys, actually, where they come from, they'll puff up their body yeah. and stuff. But that also comes in handy for more than just a fence. Whenever it's early and they want to catch the sunlight, They'll position their body, they'll fill it up with air, and then they'll turn it to face the sun as it moves throughout the day so they can catch the maximum that amount. Too. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. Oh, yes, definitely. So, what is this? This? Oh, how dying. Yes, this is Willie. He is a leopard gecko. Oh, my goodness. And isn't he beautiful? He's beautiful. And Terry, oh, what's really? what's really cool about um, this animal that we get to share through the show as well is like God has given all these animals amazing camouflages and amazing yes, defenses. Yes, that's what I notice as I look at him. As his colors, and also one of the things he does for his defenses is that he, when he sheds his skin, he eats it. 
which is really disgusting well, to us, but it, it protects them from predators. As a mom who doesn't like to clean, I can appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, is so, he full size? Just about. I mean, he'll he, grow a little bit bigger, but they actually reach adult size within six months. So I'd say he's pretty much maxed out. Wow. But amazingly, that tail uh -huh. there, it's where they store their fat. So they can actually go a month or two without eating. That tail will get really fat really? and they'll feed off the fat. Yes. Interesting. Now, Interesting. this one we thought that you might want to hold wow. because she's this, little. Yes. This is Blossom, and she's another one that we use with a lot of young children. That's a common corn snake. In fact, the coloration isn't very much different than what she's you might beautiful. find in your yard. And uh, she's got, she's really a harmless snake. They don't really have teeth per se, so you know it's That's a great good. starter pet for a kid who doesn't. <laughs> That's very good. For a kid who wants to get into snakes or something like that. That's an excellent snake to get Her into. Color is she actually gorgeous. lives with four other corn snakes in one cage. Corn snakes are very communal minded. Oh. They love to live together. In fact, when it was just three corn snakes, the two males would often, when the female would shed. They all three, the two of them would wrap around the female and cover her in the hide because they knew to protect the female. Mm -hmm. She tickles. <laughs> she's a sweetheart. Is she sweet? <laughs> she's beautiful. Yes. Now, what do you have there? This is Arlo. Arlo is our Arlo. box turtle, and he's Hello, a sweetheart. Arlo. Arlo is very walking. He loves to walk a lot. They only have one one direction, and that's forward. Oh yes, he'll make he'll make several he'll that's make good. several that's laps around my room. Right? Right. Yes, that is a good. Life he makes life. several laps around my room every day. He um he's like very to beautiful. See your room. I bet it's quite oh, the adventure it's zone. Yes. You, tell her how many snakes and reptiles we have. We have approximately 37 species. Wow. So wow. Room. Yes. Wow. Well, come on over. You can see quite well, the collection. I know that people, many people, have watched your Scaly Adventures show. Uh, it, you're, it's a television yes. show. You're yes, on regularly. We'll tell you where you can see it if you haven't had the fun of seeing it. Are you going up my sleeve? <laughs> she uh, might. She's she very does curious. Not like personal spaces. Space. <laughs> okay. Sure. But Tanya, this you have another ministry as well well because you had a real serious health scare. Tell us a little bit about what God's doing through you sure. guys with that. Uh, yeah, actually, it's, it's really amazing. This year will be 10 years ago. I was in a coma. Wow. Uh, staph bacteria was blown into my lungs. I was given two hours to live. Pierce was four years old. Uh, they told Rick to bring him in the hospital to say goodbye to me. So God saved my life in a massively miraculous way. But then over the next three years, every doctor I went to kept giving me prescription after prescription. So by January of 07, I was ready to kill myself because I was on 18 prescriptions a day. Good grief. So we didn't know, is that just going to be a neat story we share in church? But no, God had bigger plans. Because I was a teacher. He was in sales. So we weren't trained for this. Yes. But uh, he used that to launch us into ministry. So we founded our nonprofit organization, which is Boundless Limits. Mm -hmm. And we've written a book. We hosted TV in two different cities. We were doing those kinds of things. But through Pierce's passion of reptiles, because I homeschool him. Uh-huh. Uh, we started making I little fun. That. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, thank you. He's a great Good vocabulary. Boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we started making little fun YouTube videos just two years ago um, wow. in, in front and of cages at the zoo. It's blossomed into this oh and that it period has. of time. It Quite has. remarkable. I want people to know that you have written a book. It's called On Course Strategies for Successful Living. It's a wonderful book, a real encouraging book. Find out how to get a copy. Log on to CBN.com. All the info's there. But I also want you to know you can watch the currents yes. every Saturday. It's 12.30 p.m. on Scaly Adventures on Daystar TV. So be sure to watch them and all of their friends. And I'm going to tell you what, yes. we, we've we partnered with an awesome band called Bone Prophet. They're a Christian rock band, so it's cool music. It's a great theme for the family. And awesome. every episode has um, the underlying messages of teaching children to overcome their fears and follow their dreams. Wonderful. So it's neat. We'll tune in. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you. much for Thank being you. here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really fun.